Everyone knows what a cylinder is, but do you know how to properly identify, handle, and place a cylinder in your work area? Let's start with identification. A common mistake is to assume a cylinder color indicates a specific gas. Tim, there really aren't any standards when it comes to a cylinder's color, are there? Uh, you're right, there isn't. Unfortunately, there's not. A uh, distributor or gas supplier can paint his cylinders any color he wants, simply mm. for identification. Good example is we have an acetylene here that's green and an oxygen that's orange. It could just as easily be black and red. Mm. It really doesn't make any difference. Mm. We want to make sure that we don't try to identify the contents by the color of the cylinder. In fact, to identify a cylinder's contents, just read the label. And if there's not a label on your cylinder, don't use it. You need to contact your gas supplier and ask him to take it back. Cylinders also have a United Nations, or UN, gas identification marking on their label. Here are some common UN ID numbers. Careless handling can turn a gas cylinder into a projectile. Whenever you handle a cylinder, keep these five fundamentals in mind. Before moving a cylinder, install the cylinder cap, if there is one. Use a cart designed to transport cylinders. Place cylinders in a safe location where they're protected from sparks, flames, and heat sources. Don't block equipment or people. Once in place, secure the cylinders in an upright position to prevent tipping or falling. Lastly, inspect the valve, look for signs of damage, and always ensure the valve is free from oil and grease.